drilling a cavity or something right now. <laughs> Seven o'clock in Alabama, if any of you were uh, wondering here, hold on. I'm sure this call's not going to be cheap. <laughs> actually lived in New Zealand for some time and practiced dentistry here, right George? <laughs> Thank you. 
DNA when you guys get Anthony to call me and he's a chance to be running the George, hold on. George. This is going to cost me a shitload. Bye, George! Uh, wow! <laughs> what an amazing man! <laughs> you have no idea. I've, I've been following George, you know, for three years. He's kind of the central figure of the documentary, and that guy, he just gets more more amazing each time I talk to him. He's an incredible, incredible guy. Cool, so we're all done. No questions, right? You know, George was actually... This is a little loud. Turn this down a little bit. Um, George was practicing uh, dentistry in Utah at the time. He was doing a, a pediatric dentistry program. And one of his patients told him, said, hey, you've got that California look. There's this horror movie in the town. You should go. You should go read for it. And of course, George was out the door that day and went read for the part and got the role. And he took. I, I guess evidently he took. He would go between the set and his dentistry practice. So he'd go back, fill a cavity, and then run back and run from goblins. <laughs> We certainly didn't think we were making that happen. <laughs> we, that's, I think that's the thing with, you know, with this movie that makes it so uh, magical, I suppose. Is that we all thought we were making a good horror movie. And uh, we failed <laughs> miserably. And uh, yeah, yeah it was the first time you know, that I saw it was actually a year and a half later. And it was... It was Christmas morning, and while we were making the movie, while I was making the movie, I thought that I was going to be, you know, this is my first role, my first audition, and I thought that once I got the part, I was going to be this movie star. And I imagined, you know, getting done with the movie and then going to the movie theater with my family and watching the movie that I made. It didn't happen that way. Uh, about a year and a half later, my parents had tracked down a copy of the VHS tape, and... <laughs> It was Christmas morning, and I was unwrapping the uh, one of the last presents, and I unwrapped it, and I remember peeling back the layers of, of paper and seeing Troll 2 and being confused, because when we filmed the movie, it was actually titled Goblin. <laughs> and thinking, well, this is weird. What is this? And my mom said, Michael, it's your movie. Let's put it in. And we all... We all were, you know, gathered around the Christmas tree. Dad was in his bathrobe. We what? We put the movie in, and seven seconds into it, jaws dropped. And I remember my dad just putting his head in his hands and saying, "Oh, Michael, this is a bad movie." <laughs> that was it. That was a Christmas that I will never forget.